All right, coming up next, a heavyweight collision between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Misha Serkunov. Well, he is one of the more accomplished judokas to ever cross into the UFC. So many different trips and takedowns in his arsenal. His opponent says he's done the right work. We'll see how it goes tonight. But how do you prepare for someone that has accomplished so much right. outside of the UFC? Right. You cannot bring a partner in there that understands the game as he has. Because if you grab a judo guy and bring him in there, he's doing just judo. This guy is applying judo to mixed martial arts. He's not just doing judo in his approach to fighting. You gotta worry about the punches. You gotta worry about the kicks. And the moment you start defending those, here comes those foot sweeps. Here comes those headlocks. Here comes those arm spins. There are just a number of ways for him to get you on the ground and put you in danger. And at least to this point, he has been an absolute master at putting all those skills together on the biggest stage in the sport. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Habib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to <laughs> 10. Know. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing the fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a judo fighter holding a professional record of 15 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Misha Sarkunov! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is going to Ready. Ready to fight. All right, here we are inside the home of the New York Knicks. It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From outside of the arena to build up to the fight to in the arena when Conor became the king. 
this was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Good defense to block the strike coming back. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kick to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. Well, you admire the effort there, but the left punch counter is no good. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Right hand punch from the clinch. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ooh, what a punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Serkunov strike attempt there is blocked. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Sirkunovs. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Beautiful punch. A oh, little single collar tie there. Secure that well, he misses with the left punch there. Past the two minute mark in round one. And he landed the right hand there. Well, missed on that one. Hooked to the head by the Canadian Serkunov. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Beautiful level change. Leads to the takedown. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Fighters back to their feet here. Well, you see him win the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to ring. 45 seconds remain in the round. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands off it. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, nice jab. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Horn sounds for the end of round one. Okay, listen up. Listen up. You're not giving up on the time. You just got to set him up. You got to be relentless. Okay? All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors 
get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Serkunov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on his feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, he got absolutely clutch, and that's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storrs. Serkunov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. He has now found the setup punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. 72 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Let's go. And landing with 42% accuracy thus far against Misha Serkunov. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice punch lands over the top. The right hand just misses. Beautiful right hook counter. Oh, he got the goal in the card very quickly. Combination lands for him. He's really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Well, as my favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Slips the punch. Really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Good stick. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who's becoming twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Under two minutes now to go. Nice straight punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, I know Javier Mendez has said Khabib likes to go southpaw at times in training. Looks pretty good on the feet tonight. He looks really good in the stand-up. That is a part of his game that's under a... Oh! He's hurt. Oh. Oh. Well, he's up. But he is looking for certain the finish could come at any time. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Under a minute now to go in this one. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Nurmagomedov's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. 
This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Man, this guy kicks like a... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, most fighters can't keep... Oh! Huge right hand! Back to the feet. Wow! Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his... And this might just be a matter of time. Done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 22 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to arm triangle choke, Habib the Eagle, Stefano Meta! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight. But he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.